Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another episode of The Parts Bin. Today we're talking about Cummins cylinder heads. What we have here is an aftermarket Cummins cylinder head. There's lots of different companies that offer different versions of this very thing. Uh, Pro Max is a very popular one we hear a lot of. Uh, there's a couple other companies too. And uh, we also offer an aftermarket 12 valve Cummins head. This is not a Pro Max head. This is not based off Pro Max. So just, uh, this is a totally different company we, we have to do this for us. Uh, there's a couple of things though I want you to notice that are interesting about heads. First off is if you're ever gonna buy an aftermarket head, pay attention to your surface finish on your deck here. Uh, this is how it comes raw, and this is what we do. We actually don't send any out like this. We machine every head that we get in-house. And the reason is, is this is a much rougher finish. And for me personally, on any engine I'm gonna work on or put in, take the time to do the work to put a head on, I want to finish like this. This is a much smoother finish. This is perfectly straight. So every head that comes out the door from us is gonna be perfectly straight. So we actually offer this head in a lot of different configurations. I think the first option is a bare head. Literally, you're just gonna get this. Even still though, if you get the bare head, I'm not gonna send it out like this. You're gonna get a, a fresh machine on this so you can make sure it seals up really good uh, on, your, on your engine out there. And then we have another option where maybe you need some new valves. So we offer this with some OEM valves and some uh, valve seals. There's two different styles of valve seals that typically come out of Cummins. This is what comes on your stock truck. If you have a stock, bone stock truck, this is what you have. What happens is this sits on top of, this, of the valve here. And the job of this guy is to keep oil out of the valve. So this is it's an oil scraper is what it is. It seals oil. So if you're burning lots of oil, maybe your seals are bad. The problem with this setup here is anybody who has turned their boost up or anything like that, you'll, you'll get open, you open your valve cover and you'll see this thing is slid up to the top. It's no longer sealing because this seals around the, the valve stem guide down in the head. And so if this is up high, it's no longer doing its job. I mean, I'd put these on brand new and I'd do one run, they all blow off like this. High boost is really bad on these, it pops them right up. So with us, what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer this, this is called a top hat seal. And what happens is, is the valve spring actually sits on top of that so it cannot come up. Does that make sense? And so if you're gonna get one from us, you're gonna get valves, you're also gonna get this top hat seal. And this is a much nicer f option for a valve seal. Now, when you get it like this, you still have to lap in all your valves. You're gonna get the OEM quality valves, not a Chinese junk valve. We're gonna give you OEM quality valves, but you will still have to go get some lapping compound and lap in the valves. The next stage of head we offer comes complete with valve springs, valve, seals, everything, and it's assembled, ready to go. We don't even offer a complete head with the Cummins stock valve springs. It just is silly to me to put in these junk springs. So if you're gonna get a head from me, ready to go to put in your truck, it's coming with the 60 pound valve springs. It comes with the valves already lapped in. It is ready to drop in on your truck. What it has though, is the first option has the stock retainers, the stock locks, the things that hold the valve stem to the actual springs. These are a limiting factor. These are a great option for somebody who's gonna keep, keep their truck you know, under 3,200 3, RPM. Some people may take a little higher than that, but for me, for a long time reliable setup, I don't wanna take the stock locks and retainers over 3,200 RPM. So if that's you, if you're gonna have a low RPM, just a kind of a stockish truck that's gonna maybe have an exhaust brake or anything smaller, that's a great option for you. The next upgrade after that is if you wanna to upgrade to our new tool steel retainers with our 10 degree locks. These are a much, much better option. And we rate this setup with this spring and these locks up to 4,200 RPM. Again, you could probably take it higher and be fine, but for ultimate long-term reliability, I like this setup at 4,200 RPM and below. And so that's gonna be a, another stage. Then if you wanna get crazy, we offer our conical valve springs. This is the guys who are gonna make some real power, do some real RPM. And we offer this in two stages as well. If you have the standard setup with this spring and our standard keepers and uh, retainers, you can take that to about 5,500 RPM. If you're going for the max, we can offer you a set of tool steel uh, locks and retainers, which is a lot lighter. And you can take these springs up to 6,500 RPM. Again, that's a pretty massive setup for that, but it's, it is the best of the best for a Cummins cylinder head. So this is an awesome head. If you, you don't have to buy or do a core, we actually sell these new 
not on a core exchange. If you want one of these, we'll ship it to you. You don't have to send yours back to me. Also, we will O-ring this and or firing it for you, whatever one you want. If you want O-rings or firings, we can do that here for you in-house. So if you're looking for a 12 valve cylinder head, realize that there's a lot of different ones out there. Make sure you're getting, know what you're getting. I wouldn't even bother buying a head with stock springs. It's just a waste of your effort, just a waste of your labor to put it on there. So, so limiting. Make sure you're at least getting a 60 pound spring. And these are just terrible. These seals, we never ever use them. I just wanted to show you what they are. Make sure you get a top hat seal because it just works. You're not, if you're burning oil, if you're going through oil in your truck, look at your valve stem seals. You probably have an issue there. And um, anyway, so these heads are ready to go for you. And um, yeah, they're awesome. We have a lot of, we've had a lot of luck with these heads and I like them really well. We're gonna do a build with this head for you shortly to show you that. And uh, anyway, that's this episode of the Parts Bin. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informational, you learned something. Please like this video, subscribe, and we will see you next time.